Hi friends, welcome to testing tutorial point. This is Lokesh and today we are going to discussing about how to find X path in Appium. Okay, let's see basically uh, in the similar format we are using Selenium and uh, any other location like Python, Selenium and Java Selenium. We are used for X path format like two slashes and tag name and open the braces inside that other eight and use for attribute equal to and value this is the format we are user right the similar format we are going to do for xpath also here but only one different is the class name which we showed that in my previous video right similar format we are going to use it here how we can able to take it for this we need to open for android studio and click on more and click on virtual device once you open here you can able to night watchman which is i created in my previous videos just you can start your emulator once you start it will be look like this one okay look like this okay once it is done and you need to open for cmd open for appm iphone p and space 47247 just run and it will start for session okay then we need to click for our chrome driver and we need to elaborate for this particular location of the class we are going to take it okay and i am going to directly take it for this because i showed that previous also but still i'll show you one by one to clicking here chrome then how to take the value and all okay and my previous code it will be look like this one and i'll just i'll copy this particular information and i'll paste it here i'll explain you uh, everything okay don't worry this how i took that this is a, a indication for accessibility id and once i start the session and maybe if you are seeing this is the first time uh, is connecting and I'll close it. See, uh, this is the platform and which is the Android I'm doing now and version you can able to get it from here emulator. Emulator location, which is the Android version. Okay. And then you can able to get the emulator. Uh, even you can able to see in my emulator in the top you can able to see triple five four triple five four and emulator name android emulator okay and then this is the location appm colon app that is a location and this is my ui automator okay and now i is just starting the session accessibility id how we can able to write once you open this particular this is the one emulator which i opened here right same emulator it will be shown here to find your path okay just if i'm clicking my chrome you can able to see this is the accessibility id okay this id i just i passed it here by using a tilde operator this is the one can it it will indicate that uh chrome to uh clicking for that particular Chrome but uh, Chrome app finding purpose. Once it is finding it, we are waiting for some time and I'm clicking for some data. Okay. And I used for class object, but now I'm going to use for X path. Okay. Now for X path, how we can able to do it? I'm just, I'm going to share here. Yeah. I'll click and here I need to find it, my path, right? Then now I, just i'm going to do this is the one okay this is my class class become a tag name class become a tag name okay just i'm going to make it here my tag name two slashes okay braces and at the rate okay first i'm going to use it for resource id this is a resource id i'm just i'm going to take for my resource id even you can able to use for any useful one okay then i'm going to copy for my resource and one more thing and basically in our selenium 
place uh, IDA become a unique we can able to use right as a similar format resource ID and accessibility ID become a unique in this Appium server okay you will see a uh, very a few apps not for complete all the apps maybe you will uh, get some couple of apps not for all apps okay now my path become this one and I just am going to here pasting here now you can see this is my path okay this completely my path and here I'm just I'm using for to uh, storing the variable and getting the text and verifying the text whether it will be presented or not if it is presented make it pass if not means fail like that now again I'm going to run for my file okay and before running you need to stop this one like which is the browser is open right that all the things we need to close then only your server like uh, your uh, code will be point to that particular browser otherwise it will uh, fail now it is starting Now you can see app become it is loaded and click and now it is verified. Okay. And if I don't want the class name becoming more, then how we can able to take it? We have text as well. Text is presented. How we are using the text, the similar format, the tag name and class uh, text format, and we can able to take it this value and use it. Or else you can take the package the package one and attribute attribute value this also you can try okay and id is presented id also you can directly try id if you see this id and if you come to the resource same com dot dot chrome colon id and search box id and if you see same one it will be presented id and resource id will become a unique sometimes id will be changed in some apps, maybe you will not see for resource ID, that resource ID become an ID it will display. Okay, based upon that, you have to choose. You can use for text, you can use for class name again, and you can use for package. And this element ID, don't use it, it will change every time. Okay, and you can able to take it for this two only, package and text and resource ID. These three you can able to and ID. ID and resource ID become same. Then you can use for the remaining three and try it. Okay. This is all about for how XPath can work in our Appium server by using WebDriver or JavaScript. Thank you for watching. Please do subscribe and share to your friends and colleagues.